Hey all, I'm Kyle from Quizzes, and I'm really excited to make this video because I've been wanting to make it for a while. So this is all about how quizzes and UDL go together, because if you know anything about me, I am a very big UDL fan in this style of teaching. So I'm going to show you just a few of the ways that quizzes goes perfectly with UDL. And so if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you kind of know what UDL is. It's a really big topic. But if you don't, in like the shortest sense of UDL, what it is, it's the same goal as differentiation, where you're really trying to make sure you meet the needs of all your students. But one of the main differences is, is a lot of choice involved to it. So instead of the teacher deciding you get this and you get this and you have to do this, the student has all these different options and what's available to one student is available to all students. So they all have options to the exact same kind of supports that they might need. Okay, so let's do this, ready? So I'm just gonna take you through some of my favorites. So here, next to your questions, you can insert audio. And a lot of teachers, what they'll do is they'll insert audio of themselves reading the question. So this is really great for younger students. This is really great for students who are ELL in a variety of different situations. So watch. Which one is a mammal? So simply by having that, we have the reading there, we have your teacher's voice, and of course you can add in things. It could be like, which one is a mammal? Remember in class we talked about. So having this extra support available is a really good thing you do. And I, I put in a couple things here too. So having um, images in your quiz is sometimes extremely helpful. And instead of just the word dog, you have an image. And sometimes even putting just the image isn't good. So it's nice to have both. So in quizzes, it's really easy to have your image and the word right underneath it. And you're gonna see now, I'm gonna get the answer wrong. And the reason is, another thing I wanna show you about quizzes in UDL is something called answer explanations. So after a question, you have the option to put basically why the question was incorrect. And that can be a video of, of you, or it could be just simply you typing it, or a picture, or audio of you. There's all different ways you can do it. And what's great, again, if the kid wants to read it and see why did I get that question wrong, they have that opportunity, and they want to just boop, breeze right through it because they understand why they got it wrong, they have that too. So let me get the answer wrong lizard, and you'll see. It'll say in just a moment, answer explanations. Remember, a mammal is a blank and it has maybe your slideshow from your presentation that you have in there. So this is again there if they want it. For any question in quizzes, there's a read aloud option where they can click on it. Question. You can use read aloud for any question. Option one. Okay. So you have read aloud, which is built into every single question that you might need it to be built into. The next one I'm gonna show you is the hyperlinking. So this is a really common thing in UDL where you put something out there and if you want it, it's there for you. So like which fractions are equivalent? It's there for the world and the kid can answer the question. However, it's hyperlinked to a definition of what equivalent means, just in case they don't know what that means. So something as simple as hyperlinking is a really good UDL kind of thing you can do to make sure you give access to students. So hyperlinking questions for definitions, or it can go to a picture, it can go to video, of course, wherever you want it to go to, but just having that as an option in every single question is really great. Next thing I wanna show you is videos. So videos by themselves are wonderful for UDL, and I'll show you that in a second. But the fact that you can put videos in questions, depending on, of course, the question type, it might make sense, it might not. But for music, I just use this as an example. I play a certain clip, what it says what note, note it is. Right, it plays the note, it shows the picture. It might make a lot of sense to have a video here. And what makes it a YouTube video is already amazing for UDL because if you're showing a video, you can turn on closed captions if you want them. You can, the student can have control of the speed of the video. They can make the size of the video. So there's all, and you can rewind and skip. So just a video in itself is a plethora of UDL kind of strategies. So having that in quizzes just kind of opens that door. So let me just get this one right. Now, this I wanna show you too. One of the things we have in quizzes, we used to just be multiple choice, and now at the time of recording this video, there's nine question types, and probably by the time you watch this video, there'll be 11, because we have two more coming out very soon. But my point is, you can have different question types available for your students. So this is a question that says, describe how two characters, whatever, and it says, write your response. So you can tell the students, okay, write your response, but listen, if you prefer to say your response, a different modality, the next question says audio, so they can say their response and just record, this is how the two characters are, and they have the option to record their voice. Or, again, maybe you don't want them, it could be like, draw your response. So there's all different drawing and audio and writing, and there's even a video response. There's all different ways that students can express themselves and their knowledge about a certain topic. All right, now let me show you some settings kind of from this side of things as you're assigning quiz and from the student side of view, 
You can provide any quiz digitally or it's incredibly easy to print the quiz and you'll see even with printing the quiz, there's all different options. You can turn on and turn off. So kid can have a paper copy or a digital copy. So if you are joining a quiz now, you can join it and you can type it in or there's a QR code for kids who just want to scan it or have any sort of issues potentially where they're using a tablet and it's harder for them to type in the things they can scan or they can type it in so they have those opportunities for them as far as keeping kids engaged right and the the structures that, that are put in place quizzes does a really good job showing them their growth they were here and then the second time that they were here and showing them everything they need to keep them invested in their own learning so i hope that through this kind of short video you get to see just some of the features that quizzes has that really helps the teachers and the students create this udl environment inside of their classroom